how can we diagnose diabetic neuropathy? Thank you for asking the question. <clears throat> uh, diagnosing diabetic neuropathy means that you've got to be alert to asking a number of questions. So the history is probably the most important thing. So you ask about pain, numbness, tingling, burning, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, constipation, blurred vision, erectile dysfunction, painful intercourse. Those are the symptoms of neuropathy. And it may strike you that, that neuropathy affects every system in the body. So it affects the cardiovascular, the respiratory, the pulmonary, the genital urinary. So a thorough history will tell you about the possibility of neuropathy. That's history. Then you've got to uh, do a careful physical examination. And the examination, you're interested in three different components. One component is the motor component, one is the sensory component, and one is the involuntary or the reflex component. So for motor component, you look for weakness. The easiest thing in the world to do, uh, looking for weakness, is just to get somebody to bend their toe up like so. That's all. And you know that they've got the weakness of diabetic neuropathy. You can ask, why is that important? And I'll come back to that. Sensory, we want to know about warm thermal perception, cold thermal perception, prickling pain perception, a tuning fork for vibration perception, okay, and touch. And then you know whether there is any sensory loss. So now we know the whole symptom complex and we'll know the examination, the sensory loss, the motor loss. And then a reflex, you need a patella hammer just to strike the tendon and see if you get a normal reflex. And then you make observations about the skin. Is there an ulcer? Is, uh, see if it's dry. See if the blood is flowing. Is the, t is the t uh, limb warm or is it cold over there? It tells you different things about the neuropathy. One of the most important things is that diabetic neuropathy is a diagnosis by exclusion. So you exclude everything else that may cause this until you get down, this is diabetes, okay? Yes, okay, so it affects all parts of the body. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we confront uh, diabetic neuropathy? What uh, must we do about it? Oh, I, I think the, the, uh, if we could, we'd like to go back in time to when it first started. And the trouble with it is it doesn't start when the neuropathy is established. It started long before that. I tell people that it started in your mother's womb. Before you were born, it was growing. When you've got impaired glucose tolerance already, or diabetes, you're one in six people who have already got neuropathy. So it's all about DNA, it affects... Uh... It's about two things. One is DNA, there's a genetic predisposition and there's a predisposition for getting neuropathy, and there's a predisposition for not getting it. You can have good genes and you can have bad genes. It's not all in the glucose. It's all in your predisposition so that if your glucose goes up, then you'll get neuropathy. The second big thing is inflammation. So the body, you know, like, like when you cut yourself and you see the inflammatory thing, well, your whole body does that wherever you are, but it happens in the nervous system. It happens in the central nervous system, it happens in the peripheral nervous system. So that inflammation damages the, the nervous system, and if we have an easy way to find it before, we do that, and then we stop the inflammation. So do we have any positive messages about diabetic neuropathy? Uh, are you going to come to my talk? If you come to my talk, I'll tell you that I'm going to tell people at least five or six different things that you can do because there was an editorial written in the British journal The Lancet in 1982 and it said all we could do for diabetic neuropathy is make the diagnosis and commiserate with the patient. Now I'm going to show you what we've done since 1982. We can treat almost every variety of neuropathy. We can prevent every variety. Of it. So we're in a good place now. It's a very nice place to be. Thank you very much. Pleasure.